Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show on a Thursday morning. This is Expresso on SABC3. Now, you may recognize our next guest as her former online alias Cape Town Girl, but blogger turned author Alex von Toner has reverted back to her name now that she's launched her debut novel called This One Time, which is a pop culture thriller taking the local literary scene by storm. And it's so good to have you here, especially at this juncture in your life where you're exploring new avenues and doing great at it as well. Thank you so much, Kutlefo. Good to be here. So this must be very exciting for you. Book it launched is. and, and it's, it's making it's, it's making very, a buzz. very exciting. It's very exciting, a little bit terrifying, but I'm very grateful, very yeah. happy. Yeah. Give us a bit of a brief synopsis of what the plot is about without giving too much away. Okay, so it is a thriller, so there are a few twists and mm -hmm. you can expect the unexpected. But okay. pretty much in a nutshell, the, the book is about a blogger. He's a revenge porn blogger. He does incredibly well. He's super successful. He's on the cover of magazines. He's got his own reality show deal. But in the process, he wrecks a whole bunch of women's lives because, you know, revenge porn is not... It's, it's posting images that your you sent your boyfriend while, uh, while you were still together, mm -hmm. and it's, it's not a great genre to be writing in. Um, and it's one popular of, nonetheless. People are consuming it out there. Well, you know, some blogs like Hunter Moore, Is Anybody Up, was super popular for almost three years. And yeah. I think you couldn't even take him down. The law wasn't even able to kind of get him to take his blog down. But, yeah, so, um, but one of those women whose lives he ruined comes back to take revenge on him. Oh, wow. So that's what it's about. So you, you, you were a blogger, so is this a bit of a <laughs> life imitating, art imitating You know, life? I've never been a victim of revenge porn, um, but uh, uh, it's, a, it's definitely a world that I'm in, and it's a world that I'm interested in, and uh, I watch the blogs and the blogging scene, and this is more set within the blogging scene of New York, like the Dan Bilzerians of the world. Yeah, this, wow, this dude, my I mean, goodness. You, guys know Dan, you, know, you know you get the girl bloggers who've got the macarons and the flowers and the shoes and the fashion, you've got these uber boy bloggers as well, and they're they're kind of like bitches and beer, tits and guns, and Dan. This is Hunter Moore as well. He's he wrote that website as anybody up, which is a major event porn yeah. blog. Yeah, and he's kind of in this genre. When you look at these things, I mean, how real is this world? I mean, you coming from the blogging yeah. world, the, the world of reality stars and bloggers yes. and what they put forth yes. uh, online for us to consume. How real is so that? So this is Brody Lomax. Now, Brody Lomax is the main character in the novel, and I think a large part of blogging and being an online celebrity is faking it till you make it. And I think the, okay. a, a big question this book and a lot of his followers ask is, you know, how much of, of Brody Lomax's life is actually real? Yeah. And how much of his life is he making up and portraying this playboy lifestyle? But is he actually just in his bathroom kind of posing and manipulating the picture with some girl he's found in a club? You know, so that is a question that you don't always know. Like, is this real or is he kind of, is this just a snapshot in a moment in time? Like, how much of it is, is fake? How much of it is real? And that is a question that comes up continually. And it's one you've got to keep challenging he, you know, you are challenged to ask the yeah. whole time through the novel. Yeah. Now you decided to make the big move from being a blogger to yes. being an official writer with your, with your name yes. on a book. I made why, the move. Why did you decide to take the plunge? You know, I've been trying to do it for 10 years. My whole life I've wanted to be a novelist and mm. I have been a professional writer for 12 years. I've yeah. been working in advertising. I studied writing and um, I've uh, won many awards for it and I've been writing short stories for as long as I can. So this is the first book I've managed to get published. It's really hard to get published. It's, it's quite a thing. So... It's kind of the end of like a, well, it's the beginning of a, of a long journey and it's also the end of a long journey. Yeah. Um, but blogging was kind of something I did parallel to my advertising career. It mm -hmm. wasn't really writing. It's not, it's not so much a creative pursuit, I don't think. It yeah. was, it was, um, it was exploring this new digital world and, and in my day job I do work in influencer campaigns. I work with bloggers. I work kind of a lot in that digital uh, blogging sphere and it's still kind of something I'm very much involved in. Yeah. yeah, when you said it was quite a thing to get published, are you also referring to the fact that I think a lot of people out there see bloggers as just, you know, um, semi-amateur yeah. writers, not yes. really worthy of yes. the credibility of author. So yes. how did you navigate those challenges? Well, I think that, you know, write a blogging, writing a blog is day to day. It's quite disposable. You kind of bash stuff out and publish it online immediately. Yeah. And I think, all, you know, writing a book is a complete opposite of that. You've got to spend almost a year, two years crafting this novel which you may or may not get published and you've got to kind of it, you've really got to pitch it differently and it's it's so very different so you've got to be persistent this is like the third novel I've written and mm. um, I just really haven't given up I just I've annoyed just kept the crab out of my publishers <laughs> until they <laughs> agreed to publish me pretty much yeah so I think it's just a completely different kind of uh, discipline yeah. yeah so it's 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 worked out well so far this one so time far, it's worked out well <laughs> it's worked out really well yeah go buy the book it's yeah. at uh, any bookstore pretty much and what's next for you I mean uh, obviously after a while the wave will kind of die down it and will. then you'll need something else thanks for reminding me of that That's I'm great. sorry <laughs> I didn't mean to bash a parade I, I <laughs> well I've got this is a two book contract so the second book is being handed in on the first of December and 
um, and I'm just going to keep at it, you yeah. know. I've still got the day job. I still work very much in fashion advertising, so I'm going to keep on going with that. I do love it. It's a, it's a very different parallel career path. Yeah. And I love how the, word, my, the worlds intersect, you know, brand, brands, entertainment, marketing, creative writing. It's fantastic. Fantastic. That's, Popular culture is my thing. I think I'll pick up this one time, yeah, and check it out. Thank you very, very enjoy much. It. Alex Fantona, blogger Thanks turned for having me. author. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic stuff. Check out the book. If you have read it, let us know what you think of it. Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. That is our Facebook page.